Hey guys, it's me, SB Studs, back with another video. If you can tell that I'm talking really fast, this is just going to be a really quick video. Basically, on Instagram, the 2021 set, uh, set list or magazine for Star Wars, Lego Star Wars, was uh, leaked on Instagram. Basically, I'm just going to quickly break it down. Uh, but before we get into this video, please do like, subscribe, and comment on this video about what, what your opinion on this thing is overall. This really helps me grow my channel. I'm think I really hope that we can get to 50 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm thinking of doing something special for that. So yeah, go down below, hit subscribe, also like, and comment. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's have a look at this. So first of all, we have the TIE Fighter up to the top right. I'm actually kind of okay with this one. It, the wings, I actually think, are a bit more minifigure scale. However, the ball, I think, is just a bit too big. If LEGO shrunk that down, I think that that would be, like, a really good set. We don't know what minifigure's coming with, with it, but I hope that it's just a TIE Fighter pilot, maybe, like, a Navy officer, something like that. Next up, we have the Plus Four, uh, plus four Junior's X-Wing. Uh, this part of the Resistance. Um, I'm actually kind of okay with it. The cockpit piece, again... Just like on the last Junior's X-Wing, it's just awful. But okay, I think it's actually, overall, I think it's actually a pretty good set. Um, next, we have the Imperial Shuttle. I really like this, because the last time I think you could get an Imperial Shuttle was like 2015, 2016. Somewhere around there, and I missed out on it, and now I really want to get it, so I'll definitely be getting that. Um, I hope that it's got like some Endor minifigures, like the last one, because we don't get Endor minifigures that often. Then we have the Dual... Microfighters pack, which has a Tauntaun and an AT-80. The AT-80 has an AT-80 driver, which, I mean, like, okay, sure, we got an AT-80, and AT-80 drivers aren't that uncommon, but the AT-80 um, has, is, like, pretty different from, like, the last one, so I'm pretty happy with that. The Tauntaun is really cute, and it comes with a Hoflute Skywalker, which I'm really happy with, because uh, it's really hard to get a hands-on one of a Hoflute Skywalker minifigure. Then we have a Microfighter Millennium Falcon, which I'm actually kind of disappointed with this one because it's just the original trilogy version, which we've technically gone two times before. Technically, it was the new trilogy version, the last one, but, like, it was basically the same. And it comes with a brown jacket, Hoff Han Solo. I was disappointed that it wasn't based off Solo, but I guess, oh well. Then, I'll show you the bigger picture. There is a X-Wing, which I actually am really, really happy with this one because it looks more minifigure scale. It actually looks, like, kind of similar to the last one, except the bit shrunk down, which I think is actually minifigure scale, because, like, if you look at, like, Brick Vault builds, which are minifigure scale, they're about that same size. So, yeah, overall, I'm actually pretty happy with the sets. Would have really liked for there to be more prequel sets, and also possibly more sequel sets. I would have really liked some more um, sequel sets, so maybe, like, I don't know, just a bunch of stuff. But, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a comment what you think about this uh summer wave or winter wave depending on where you are also i have an instagram where i give you guys leaks to my videos and also uh, sneak peeks and tutorials on stuff about my videos so yeah if you want to check that out my username is sb underscore studs anyway that's all for this video Bye bye